Welcome one and all to Ember Ward. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I need to defend my forge fire from waves of relentless enemies. If I want to survive the bees, werebeasts, and giant lizards, I'll need to carefully plan the construction of my maze and choose wisely which elemental towers to build and upgrade. With each map layout providing a different challenge, can I make it to the boss with enough health to survive? Let's find out in Ember Ward. All right, here we go with Ember Ward. This is a new, very unique looking tower defense game that also has roguelite elements. Now this game just released today, June 25th. And if you wanna check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and start up a new game. Select difficulty, we have casual, relax, build your maze and crush some monsters. Normal, a journey with some challenges, plan your strategies carefully. And Heroic, you really need to build a good maze. Unlocked after defeating the boss in normal mode, we're going to go with normal mode. And we can go into the Misty Forest. And it looks like during this early access period, we have a second zone or biome to unlock and two more that are in the works. Oh, look at this. The Village. Choose your character, Fairy the Novice, a novice engineer fresh out of the academy. Novice's perseverance, your fire source has five extra HP, and it looks like we have a bunch of other characters to unlock, which I really love seeing. Academy, choose your gear for this adventure. Ready to go, choose a set you like. We have a scrap tower crafted from various scraps. It's affordable and easy to use, but only have 30 ammo. Recycling it yields no gold. Drone tower automatically tracks and continuously attacks enemies within its range until they leave. And a lightning tower. Ooh, fires chain lightning. I like that. Up here we have a basic tower, the lightning tower, and a frost tower. Freezes surrounding monsters. That also sounds great. A dart tower shoots tiny poison darts. A cannon tower causes explosive damage in a small area. Ooh, and a flamethrower. Roasting a large group of monsters to ashes. These all sound great. Uh, honestly, these top two, I think, are my two top choices. It's whether I want to go with AoE, really. I mean, this is single target, but these two look like AoE or slow down and chain lightning. I think I wanna go with slow down and chain lightning. We're gonna grab this. Oh, we also have these over here. Looks like these are relics. Okay, choose this. And do I get to choose one of these? Yes. Resonant poison, extra crit hit chance on poisoned monsters. Well, we're not going with the dart tower. An additional 20 gold at the start of each level. That sounds pretty good. The first time your fire source takes damage, freeze all monsters. We have no fire source at the moment. All one by one towers cost plus five and all larger towers cost minus 10. Oh, what size are these? They're different sizes. I don't know if I can tell from this menu. You can see the next card in your deck. Uh, maybe the 20 gold at this moment seems like the best. Oh wait, oh, do I not get to choose one of these? Do I just get all of them? Oh, there we go. All right, uh, which one was it? This one, 20 gold. And now we get to choose where do we can go. And we're heading all the way to the big boss. Reward tower, a block card, a tower and a block card or a relic. What is this? A barracks. Select a challenge and complete it in the next level to earn rewards. This looks like an elite. Oh, a corrupted battle. And we have an altar. Offer ember stones to the altar to restore health or gain other enhancements. Do we have a shop? We do. Way up here. So... Oh man, the only way to get to the shop is through these corrupted battles. I don't think I'm all that confident in taking corrupted battles so soon. And that also means we don't get to go to the altar. Yeah, I kind of feel like 
how these are placed maybe needs a little bit of work we definitely need a shop available no matter which path you're taking before the end but you know what let's go down here through the barracks and hit the altar i think we definitely need to hit the altar so we are going to grab another relic Build a maze. The enemies are coming. Drag the wall card onto the field to control the path of the monsters. Wall cards placed during the building phase can be long pressed to be recalled. But once you enter battle, they will be locked and cannot be recalled. Okay, do I have a timer? Uh, no, it looks like I press space or click on this big old button to start the next wave. So I have, I have however long I need. We have 70 gold. It looks like these are free. And we can afford to place all of our towers. So the question is, how do I want this to go? I mean, I can go like this. Then again, uh, I got to think about... Oh, very interesting. Where I'm going to place my towers as well. I feel like I want to slow first. I don't know how long the slow effect lasts. Okay, place that here. Let's just start placing some stuff. Oh, this is very interesting. Instead of using singular blocks, we're using these, these ones. Which does complicate things a little than what I'm used to. Alright, hold on. Long press this. I want this kind of more over here. Like that. So we can do this. But then I got to figure out how much space these take up. See, I can't even place this in here. Oh, they go on top. Oh, okay. That changes things a bit. Let's put this here. Let's put a basic tower right here. And put a lightning just as they're coming through. And then can I do something with this? Oh yeah, I like this. Now, can I long press and take these out? No, can I move this? Upgrade, sell, most progress. What does that do? Least progress, highest. Oh, this is targeting. All right, we'll just do on the most progress. And it looks like we can upgrade as well. And two different paths, fire rate and range, damage and range. We can spend... Five coin to draw more cards if we want some more blocks. All right, let's just start the battle. We have six angry bees incoming. And I think we're okay. Oh! Oh, we got a tower. We have some inherent defenses. That's good to know as well. Oh, look <laughs> at the little, the little block with a smiley face. That's great. I mean, we can we can do something like this. Probably a bit helpful. And Wow. Yeah, it really does change how you do things cuz these blocks are huge. Uh, I don't even know if I want to place any blocks right now. I want to place towers. And... Let's go here. Oh, I also don't know if I, I keep my gold in between... In between missions. In between levels. I might not want to use everything. 
Let's just do that and see how well we do. Can I upgrade while things are going? I can. That's good to know. You're big, but we're taking you down. You look okay. Not getting past our first line of defenses. Wave two out of five. No problem. All right, 30 slimes and six crimson lizards. I might want an upgrade to fire rate and range. We're gonna do that. And more damage, bigger range. I like a bigger range on you, perhaps. Oh, that costs 30. That's quite expensive. Uh, let's do some more basic towers right here. Let's get a fire rate upgrade on this one. And can I? Oh, no. It's too much. What are my other choices here? I can do something like this and then something like this. A bit more of a maze. Put this here. I mean, I could put something here just in case they come on this end, but no, we'll try and stop them at the front line. This one will be, we'll go damage on this one. All right, and see how well we do. Oh, look at you. Can I click on these? I can. Crimson Lizard, attack one. Slime, four health, 85 health. What's the range on this? Oh, I should have moved this a little over here, actually. All right, but we got it, no problem. What's our next wave? 20 angry bees, 14 stinger hornets, and five venom crawlers. All right, uh, let's just use this to kinda get a bit of a better maze going. Put that there. That blocks everything. Can't really use this anywhere. Oh wait, can I use it out here? Oh geez, I didn't even think about that. We can, we can come out here and do stuff. Yes, okay. Uh, do this. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here. Let's go like that. And even farther like this. And we can set some, you know what? I want to see what this lightning tower does. Uh, get up here. And we'll just put a bunch of cheap towers, not even upgraded. You can hold shift to build the same tower continuously. Ooh, that's good. Double up. All right. Let's go. Oh yeah, I think we're fine. Where are these guys? 51 health? And we can also speed up time as well.
and slow down time if we want. Alright, 30 angry bees, 10 stinger hornets, 5 crimson lizards, and 1 were beast. Oh, and we have a timer now. Get this going here. Um, let's get some slow down in this area. And a bigger range on you. Let's just go straight up damage here. And fire rate right there. And we can upgrade this maybe. Quite expensive. Multi-target plus four. Ooh. Yes. Can I place this? Not really. Everybody... Go there. Um, is this good enough? <laughs> That's always the question. Maybe another lightning tower back here. And you know what? I'm going to hold on just in case we do have... I'm guessing we don't save this gold in between levels. The remaining power of your fire you lose if the fire goes out. All right, let us let us battle. Let's see how well this goes. Okay, there are the crimson lizards. Oh, there you are. How much health do you have? 391. You do five damage. How are we doing? I can slow down if I need to be. Can I place more? I can place more towers here as well. Oh, you have a stun? But we're going to take you down. There we go. Okay, we got it. No worries. Stage clear. Excellent. We got 10 experience and 10 of some type of gems. We get, oh, here we go, a 3x3. Three three. All right, that's how we tell how large they are. It'll tell you. A flamethrower tower, chompa tower, bites nearby enemies, dealing extra damage equal to 20% of the monster's current health with each attack up to 50 extra damage. Earthquake attacks any passing monsters with shockwaves causing brief stun effects. Uh, ooh, these cost 85. Extra damage equal to 20% of the monster's current health. Seems pretty good. So it does its normal damage, which is 30, and then it'll deal an extra 20% up to 50. So a possible 80 damage per. 8 damage in an area, 2 damage in an area... Let's try this Chomp Tower. When choosing a tower after passing a level, there will be two additional options to choose from. Ooh, Lightning. There's a 20% chance to summon additional Lightning to strike the target. Yes. When you build walls with three tiles or smaller, the walls immediately lock in place and you draw a card. Can trigger up to three times. No, Lightning Conductor. Works with our build. We have Ember Stone, energy-filled gems used to purchase items in the shop or restore the energy of the fire source at the altar. Talents. Use the experience points gained from adventures to learn various talents. Talents are permanent upgrades that persist through each run. Talents can be reset at any time, refunding all spent experience points. Sounds good. Uh, let's take a look at these. Superior efficiency, increase the preparation time before each battle by 10, 20, and then 30 seconds. We also have starting gold, chance to reroll towers at the end of each level, increase experience, that's probably the first one we need to grab next, and oh, reduced tower upgrade costs. All right, well, we're going to go see what this barracks does. 
Are you here for training too? Challenge yourself in the next level. Receive no damage from any monsters. To complete the level without using the lightning tower, we just got a relic to upgrade it. Have the duration of malfunction effects on towers and boost their damage by 10% after the effect ends. So like the stun or the deactivation we got from the were... Was it a werewolf? It was a were monster. Build at most three types of towers. More on our poison. We can probably do this and grab this debugging encyclopedia. I like the sound of that. All right, here we get a relic and here we get a singular block card. We can take a look at our tower loadout. What's in our backpack? These are all our cards. They have these little pips at the bottom. I'm guessing that's how many of these cards I have. Maybe. Or maybe not, because this has nothing. I'm not sure what the pips denote. Maybe there's some kind of upgrade we can do to these cards. Can I click on it? No. All right. Uh, I feel like I want a relic. Complete the level without using the lightning tower. Yes. Buff tiles. Tiles full of energy will enhance various attributes of the turret when built upon them. The effect of the enhancement varies with the size of the turret. For example, a 2x2 two two size turret will only receive a quarter of the effect. Oh. So it's only enhancing, I guess, a singular tile on it. If it's a 2x2, two two, you got four tiles. So we have two places they can come through we have no it looks like inherent defensive towers attack range increased man i kind of want them to come around all the way here and then re-enter here but we don't exactly have the right towers to do that i mean we could block areas off we're going to need to do to scooch them around. Oh, then they come over here. Well, I don't want that. I want them to be heading in the same direction. So, actually, hold on. If we block this area off, Like that. And then we block this area off. There we go. We get them to go all the way over there. But I kind of want them to come this direction. That's fine. We can make them come over here perhaps. Then come around here like that. So we'll block. We'll block this off. And... We need to get you here. A slow down, perhaps there. Tower. Oh, I gotta hold shift to make multiples. All right, that's all we can afford. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I do need to place... Because I can't place towers directly on the ground. So I do need to place something on these... Tiles here. Let's place this one here.
Or actually, what about this one? This one's better. Because I can put some towers on the end of it. Oh, this doesn't reach both of them. Uh, I could draw another five. Let's do this. Oh, no. Sorry. Draw four five, not draw five. This is better. Right, these are all attack range, right? Yeah, they're all attack range. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, we have a, we do have a timer here. Uh, and then let's take you and do I have a change in DPS? I have no DPS. Let's just do a damage and let's do another damage on you. Call in the battle. I wonder if we get extra resources after if we call in the battle early or like the earlier earlier we call them in. What are we doing here? Four damage compared to the two. Extra range, I guess. Yeah, we can only upgrade once, it looks like. All right, angry bees at 10 stinger hornets. I need to be blocking this off. Straight across. But with... Not with this piece. This piece needs to go here. And this one can block. There we go. Like that. Uh, and that piece is too large. Alright. Uh, we need some slow down. Around here. And, oh, I should save up for the Chomp Tower, shouldn't I? Let's come in here. Let's do a Fire Raid on you. We'll do a Fire Raid on you. And let's hope this does it. If it doesn't, I can really quickly place some basic towers over here. But I should probably be extending my maze out here. Make an additional maze over here. Oh, they are getting through. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, towers. There we go. All right, uh, we need to be doing something around here, funnel them in. I would love to do this and then, yeah, try and get them around like that. We have a Hornet King. That doesn't sound great. We do have this Chomper. Let's put a Chomper. Oh, that's right. It's a 2x2. Two two. Right here? I would love it 
to be right over here somewhere. Can I rearrange these to get a 2x2 two two somewhere? Probably, but not without messing up my maze. Alright, let's try this. Let's try this here. When attacking, it bites the target to slow it down by 70% and inflicts 10% damage for every every three second. Every second for three seconds. Converts damage to poison type. Alright, but we need some stuff working out over here. We can do this. And there and there. Do a little extra early damage. We're out of gold. But eventually I want to draw them down like this area. We'll get something on this tile. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, and here. The Hornet King. 268. A lot of chomp damage. I like that. What do you do? Do you have an ability? Take some big damage here. That's good. Hey, there we go. The Chomper. The Chomper is pretty good. All right, we can send this like that. It's not too bad. We can do this so I can place a tower over here. Give it, oh wow. Yeah, reach everywhere. And we can put a chomper here now. I don't mind that. With a slowdown. Grab a couple of these around it. Maybe upgrade this one for damage. All right, let's go. Oh, jeez. Who, who did that? Who did that? Where are you? I can't click on you. The Salamander Mage. You are awful. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay because we got another, another chomper and all this down here. You know what? Having this here... And going with the big range, plus three. I like that. All right, final wave. We have four brood mothers. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I can put this right here. And we get a chomper down right there. Uh, do I have enough here? Yes. One range, 20 damage. When attacking, it bites down the target. We're going to slow it down. Or here, 40% of the monster's current health with a max of 75. This is a bit expensive at 70. I feel like just sort of investing in the smaller towers is a bit better. I want some more range on this. Let's get damage on you. Damage on you. Damage on this one. And maybe just, actually, just hold hold on the gold. If I need to, I want to place some towers back here if they get that far. Oh, I didn't place, wait, wait, can I place this now?
And I guess I could always upgrade now. We're earning gold as we go along. Are these... The Broodmothers? Oh, they are. Oh, but we got them. Oh, these guys, though. Uh, slow it down. Can you handle them? Uh, maybe? Towers, towers. No, we're gonna take a damage. Oh, we took one. Okay, but we're gonna get to an altar, so we're gonna be able to heal. I probably should have been upgrading these for, like, fire rate at the end of there, or damage. Challenge success, debugging encyclopedia, excellent. And we get a snowball tower, fires massive snowballs, causing damage and slowing effects to enemies within a wide range. A lightning ball tower, cannot rotate, fires lightning balls straight ahead. Or a sniper. Element is fire, long range, high damage. Oh, I like all of these. Uh, interesting, one by two. This takes some setup, but could be very powerful. 15 damage in an area, 20 damage, or 80 damage. Uh, fire rate, ha quarter of a second. Uh, let's go with the sniper tower. Flamekeeper's Guard. If the damage taken in a level is 3 points or less, recover 1 health point upon completing the level. That seems pretty good. When you kill a monster affected by the chill effect, the frozen energy spreads and slows down other monsters. Wait a minute. This is a chill effect, right? Or is this ice? No, they're chill. I might want Ice Storm. I'm choosing a tower. Two additional options. Yeah, let's go Ice Storm. All right, uh, hit the altar, present offerings, receive the altar's blessing, restore five health points, receive a relic and lose five health points, remove a card, or increase and heal max health points by five. I like that, but we don't have enough ember stones. When the fire source is attacked and its HP reaches zero, consume all your ember stones and heal one HP for every 10 Ember Stones. After triggering, this relic will be destroyed. Oh. This might be good. I mean, even though we lose 5 HP, I mean, we'll have enough Ember Stones to essentially gain an extra life, right? We'll go back up to full. Oh no, for every 10. Never mind. We'll heal. We'll heal 3. I'm, I was reading it wrong. So we'll go, we'll go to 3 HP. Maybe that's not worth it. Even this is not worth it, but I don't know what else we're going to use our Ember Stones for. They're only for the shop and the altar. So it's not like we can save them for anything else. I don't want to remove a card from my backpack. We're just going to recover the singular health that we lost. And I kind of like just getting more relics as opposed to cards. We're going to grab a relic down here. Oh, wow. I like, I really do like the various designs of these levels. This is not a range. This is an attack. 50% attack. Explosion tile. The monster is killed by the tower on it explodes. Poison boost. Ice boost. The power of ice towers placed here. Fire boost. Okay, so we want the, the sniper tower over here. And, oh gosh. I mean, we want them into, like, a death spiral, right? All the way around. <laughs> but the way this plays out with these blocks, it makes it difficult to do that sort of thing. So, oh, what is this? Arcane. Arcane towers. I don't think we have an arcane. We have normal, we have ice, we have electric, and fire. We definitely want electric over here. Let's see if we can't funnel everybody in that direction. I don't think we can.
lock it off there. Lock this off here. Uh, wait a minute. Can we do this better? Yes. Like that. And then... That just sends you here. I need to draw some more cards. That is sort of what I'm looking for. Maybe? Yes. Like this. However. Okay, let's uh, set a bunch over here. We're going to put you on this. And. We just need some more basic towers, I feel like. We have five slimes, one venom crawler. Put you here. Let's upgrade this one for fire rate. Just to get better range. And start the battle. I'm not too confident in this right here. Oh, you're all coming from this area. Was I able to tell that? I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> the explosions are great. Yeah, I don't know if I can tell exactly which which one they're coming from. All right, but I think I want No, not that. Uh yes, put that there. And actually, no, what am I doing? Put this here. And make them come around that way. Let's get this on that. And put a lightning tower here. Let's get some slowdown right there. And just... Man, just another tower here. Again, not too confident. Explosions are great, as long as he gets the last hit. Alright, uh, we got a brood mother incoming. I want to block this off. Lock this off. And... Lock this off. Alright, uh, we can grab a chomp tower. So this is 100%. If we place a chomp tower, it's only 25% that we get. So I don't necessarily want that. I could have you right here. This is a good spot. And then we'll put this on here. And you know what? Increase it by damage. We'll go perhaps crazy damage on this one. Eight damage. Seems good. All right. Call it in. Slow 
slowly getting my my spy my spiral that I want to get working. All right, we're good. Oh, we're not good. Oh, that was the brood mother. Oh, I wasn't even watching. I thought we were clear. And this works here to do that. Um, this is increased fire, so we can place our sniper. <laughs> That's gigantic. And probably a slow down over here. Block it off. Uh, block this off. And do we need to upgrade towers? Let's go fire rate and we'll add Does this give poison. No, increases the attack power of poison. This is a range boost. Put this right there. Alright, take down these feral wolves. Oh wait a minute, what are you what are you aiming at? Least progress. Uh oh, highest HP? Highest HP. Um, we gotta be upgrading some of these. Fire rate on you. Let's go range. And you are most progress. Sure. All right, what do we got? We got two brood mothers. We will continue to try and spiral this around. If I can. No, that blocks. Uh, wait. I want them to come around here. They spiral out this way. Maybe I just want them to... Here, you know what? You guys... Oh, you are way out here. Well, I can't really block you easily, can I? If I do this... <laughs> There's just no way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I can't. I was going to... I was going to try and do this. But that doesn't stop you either. All right. At this point, I don't know where anything's going. We're going to send them all over the place. Sure. And... We're going to place maybe a bunch around, man, a bunch around here. This increases ice and we're going to give it better range. And we're just going to place a bunch of these here. And maybe a lightning tower like that. And we should probably upgrade one of these. Damage and fire rate, multi-target. We'll go multi-target. Fire rate on one, damage on the other. Call it in.
Oh, it'd be nice. This one is highest HP. But is there... There's the one that is highest remaining HP. I would love. Because once they... Once this tower gets them down to a low amount... I'd really like it to target somebody else, because then the smaller towers can take them on. Okay, we're not doing so well here. Are these upgraded? This one... Let's go damage on this one. Do I need to place more towers? Maybe. Upgrade for damage. Alright, we are clear. Uh, I have an attack boost tile here. I can send you that way. I can send you guys this way. And even send you all the way over there. Alright, uh... Man. I feel like Chomp Tower is pretty good, perhaps here. Doesn't help with the poison, but that's fine. And then we're going to set up you on this tile, give you extra damage, get some slowdown. And just, you know, just pump up with towers all around this. Alright, speed it up a little. Most progress. Let's go highest HP on you as well. Okay, we're looking okay. There we go. Final wave, 4 Broodmothers, 75 Slimes, 50 Venom Crawlers. If I do this, that doesn't help, that blocks everything. I mean, at this point I'm just trying to <laughs> make them take the longer path to slow them down as much as possible. Uh... And then I kind of want to concentrate around these guys. That's already upgraded. This one is not. That one is upgraded. 250. I do like these chompers. I think they're doing swell. Let's put a chomper here. With highest HP on it. And let's get a range on this. Get some damage, get some fire rate. And uh, that's not in a good spot. This is in a good spot, though. And you know what? Let's put a, put a lightning tower on this one. It's going to cost, I think, a bit too much to upgrade it for me when I could just put eight of these basic towers down. Let's call in the battle and see where I need to place these towers. Uh, well, let's go on normal speed here. It'd be nice, you know I wouldn't mind, since we're going the roguelite mode, if I had, perhaps, some sort of consumables. Oh jeez, there's just so many. Okay, towers everywhere. Towers everywhere, look at this, just, just everywhere, back here. That's not helping. 
Okay, maybe now it's helping. Let's get you with a bigger range. You as well, so you can cover this side and this side. Oh, and we're good. <laughs> Made it through. With a quick blitz on the towers at the end there. Oh, I have not been doing my experience either. We have a drone tower, a missile tower. Each attack fires 10 missiles, targeting random enemies within the attack range. Attack range is 15. The drone tower, electric. Five range. There's another two by two. Another expensive tower, though. I feel like I need a cheaper tower. Crystal ball. We can see the next card. When the fire source takes damage from monsters, reduce the health of all monsters by 20% per damage point except bosses. Upon completing a barracks challenge, which we don't have coming up. So we're going to go with the Vengeance statue. And we're going to actually come down here and spend my experience like I should be doing on talents. The starting gold, an extra 10, is pretty big. Preparation time. I said I wanted the fast learner. But I think just now, <laughs> just to survive. I want this one. Or we can save up for upgrade costs are reduced by 5%. Now let's do starting gold. That helps us right now. And we're going to come in here. I like probably this card. So we'll try and grab that one. All right, six waves. They're all being funneled to this one spot. I like that. I could theoretically get these guys to come up here and back down. That could be a big ask considering we have to use these pieces to do that. But can I get... I can't get double on these. Not with the pieces I have. Let's come out here. Do something... Like that. Not fond of it. So drone tower damages two, damages two, range is better. Fire rate. Two per second. Costs a little more. Let's get a freeze right there. Let's try this drone out. Oh, very interesting. Can I put that on this? Yes. That's pretty good. I feel. I like that there. And we'll just put another one uh, right over there. It's only eight angry bees. Not really concerned. Go super fast. Oh, the drones are fun. Okay, we're going to do this. And... We're going to not like how this block is shaped. We can, we can stick it right here. Actually, I kind of like it like this. And then we put this in the middle. And then now I have a 2x2 two two spot for the future. But in the meantime, let's get... 
Oh, a big old range on that. And let's go crazy. Do we go crazy on drones? I don't know. Drone here. And you have to put a drone there in the middle. Call it in. All right. Oh, no, I put the drone here, didn't I? I, I built a two by two on purpose. I'm sure you all saw that. And then I immediately wrecked my plan. <laughs> uh, I mean, that doesn't do it there. But maybe we can get a one by one. Can I... Send you guys that way. Not really. Well, I can put this here. I can get this down here. And we're going to go highest HP on you. Oh, what is this? Click to open a treasure chest. <gasps> Absolutely. Heal one. I might need that. 20 coins. Damage up for 15 seconds. A frost boost tile on the block. Yes. Range frost pulse. We're going to do this one. Oh, another treasure chest. Arcane Blast. Another heal. I just want the heal right now in preparation for the boss. Oh. Okay, well that answers that. So I had <laughs> I had previously said I would love to have some consumables. We have consumables. The game has answered. And, okay, what do I want to do now? Um... I want to... Look at this ice block. That is great. Here. And increase its range. There we go. And... I said I liked these. Maybe I should be upgrading one of them. Fire rate, detection range, flying speed... I like that damage and fire rate. We'll do this. And we'll put this right here. And do I even want to use any of these? Uh, that's not bad. You know what? That's for a future 2x2. Two two, maybe a sniper rifle over there. You guys can get pushed that way. Uh, oh. Oh, that's got stuff on it. Oh, yes. Um, I, I, I bunched everything up, though. Hold on. Get rid of this. Put that there. Do I have a single fire? I don't. I have the 2x2. Two two. It's going to get a 0.25%. But actually from, from both of these. Or 25%. It's going to do 0.25. Each time it fires, the tower launches an additional one missile, dealing three damage. Alright. I mean, I'm just trying to slow them down right here. So they don't all arrive at once. So I click on this and I put it on something. Yes. Oh, I think we're doing swell though. I like what we got going on. Get a sniper on this. Upgrade it. Uh, don't upgrade it now. Salamander Mage times two. Let's get a Chomper at the end here. 
We're going to change this to highest HP for all of these. And call it in. Alright, looking good. I think this setup is great right now. Yeah, we can do this. Send them along this way. Which means... We can put a slow down here. Tower... Just like that. Seems pretty good. Fire rate on you on the end. And... At this point, I guess just play it by ear. Yeah, make you take the long way around. Oh, we <laughs> just destroyed the trees. Alright. Call him in. Bro, slow down now. How are you doing? We're maybe doing okay? Take you down, brood mother, you pop up a bunch of little guys. But no worries. Stage clear, excellent. We got a block. We got ooh, runes. Attach runes to block cards to gain special bonuses. Blocks with the runes can create buff tiles after being built or provide other additional effects. The more squares a block tile has, the more runes it can have. All right, inspiration, draw a card after placing this block, but the block is immediately locked. Greater damage rune, frost, lightning. I feel like lightning since we have the drones now. This card is always in your hand at the start of a level. Yeah, we're new with lightning on this one. We can do two. Lightning and maybe the royal. So I'm guaranteed a boost on a drone at the beginning. Golden statue, a powerful mystery statue which attracts gold. Monsters that die within its range grant an additional 50% gold. That's pretty good. The scrap. I wish I could re-roll this for money. A lightning ball tower. That's another big one. 30 ammo. No gold from recycling. We'll go with the golden statue here. I might not even use it. Just because of the expense and the 2x2. Two two. But let's see what this boss is. Oh my. Boss level, at last we reach the final level. Ahead lies the gate's guardian monster. Defeat it to progress to the next area. Quickly fortify your defenses and use the minecart to weaken the boss. The arrow tower guards will buy you some time to prepare for the impending attack. Okay... Corrupted level. Corrupted areas will appear on the ground and you cannot build on them. Enemies will also have higher health or faster speed. However, on the flip side, you will obtain better rewards when you pass this level. Okay, that's a lot of corrupted tiles. Minecarts build a tower on a minecart and it will automatically charge forward along the tracks once battle starts. Towers placed on minecarts will receive various enhancement effects. Okay, this is very different. We have ooh, a multicolored... Tower placed above are doubled. Okay. Alright. Attack power and range. So I kind of want 
Maybe not the lightning. Drone tower. Let's put a drone tower on one of these. And let's just do like this tower over here. Then again, we have to prepare for the enemy as well. Man, we can't really build a maze here, can we? We can try. Yeah, wow. This corrupted levels, uh, they really do a number. Let's do this. That puts a drone right on this, which I like. We put a slow down right next to it. Um, Man, I don't even know if I like that. This all feels bad. Well, I do want to funnel you there. Let's do something like that. Uh, we'll just get another drone here, I suppose. And see how this works? Oh, jeez. Wait, slow down. Regular speed. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, it's not working out how I thought it would work out. This is crazy. Especially with these carts. So are you... You're heading my direction. Is that what it is? Okay, I thought I had to use the carts to reach you, but no, you're gonna you're gonna come after me. Um, did we even survive? Did we take damage? We took nothing. Okay, we can't be focused up here. We need to be focused back here with these extra tiles. So we're going to be not doing that. I want to funnel you all. Yeah, no, you guys don't come over here. Can I block this? Let's block that. And I want you headed back towards that. I don't have the pieces yet. So let us continue building right here. more drones all right call it in oh now you're coming after this tower Okay, we're handling these guys. Speed it up. I think we're okay. Yes. So, the boss here, the Hydra, has got like three more towers before it comes right at me. I like... Oh no, it blocks the whole thing. That doesn't reach. All right. Well, we're going to do this. And then put this on here. And you know what? Let's just do, let's just do a basic tower on this one. We're going to get a slow down here. Put that there with some range on nothing because I want to focus over here we 
do damage. Up. Some more drones. And we're gonna upgrade this drone for that. We're doing barely any damage to the Inferno Hydra. 7k. Oh no, we got a big old were beast. You're down. All right, we are clear. Uh, I want to pull them up this way, but then drop them back down. Sure, maybe I get a one by one to put right there. Let's grab a slow here. Again, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the drones, I guess. Uh, but let's put a... Maybe a sniper. Highest HP. Call it in. Man, as he gets closer, he occupies uh, the enemies, or my, my towers. Oh, this is not good. Um, I need something. No, that's the wrong something. Alright, Hydra down to 5.9k. We have this here. Let's just get this on it. And let's push them up this way, like that. And let's get a chomper right there, also to highest HP. Um, maybe we can upgrade this for fire rate for when it passes the enemy. And... You know, just go crazy. Another one of these. Go. Speed it up. Slow it down. Slow down here. Slow down there. All right, we're good, I think. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Final wave. Oh, we did have you down to 2K, though. I like that. Um, oh. Okay, uh, I have I have a lightning rune on this. Let us put it like that. Let's get a drone tower on it. Put a slow down right around it. Is the Hydra going to destroy my towers now that it has no giant towers to take? Uh, can we... Oh, we can't push you back way over there. I mean, I guess I could. I could draw five or draw four five. Yes, do that. We get a boost on the attack. We're going to put a chomp tower right on it. And uh, let's get you know, some of this stuff leveled up, maybe. 
probably a good idea. This can do some range. This could... Oh, no, we're out. Okay, we have... This guy can come right over here. And we're going to take it at normal speed. Okay, you're not attacking the towers. You're just coming straight for me. Which hopefully we're okay. I didn't have any treasure chests in this level, did I? Oh, we got you. We got you. Ha ha ha. But now can we get the rest? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continuously place towers everywhere that I can. All over here. And you know what? Bump up all their damage. Gonna slow down on this side. The drones everywhere. Upgrade you for damage. Oh, we got it. Excellent. Oh, and a bunch of XP. And that's the run, it looks like. That is, oh wow, that was a lot of fun. I wish I could, can I not access my uh, my talents from here? I'd like to be able to access the talents from the menu here, but that has been Ember Ward. This game was a lot of fun. It's a very, a very unique take on tower defense and really changes up some of the way you play it with all the different additions. It's, it's very fun. I really enjoy this. Once again, this game released just today on June 25th. And if you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.